Hey, um, here I am in a, a PMDG 737 NGX cockpit. This is uh, Lockheed Martin prepared, which I'm using. And what I want to show you today is uh, the last thing we're working on for our new plugin system, which is support for the PMDG 737 NGX. So to demonstrate you, I'll uh, first let you see the fasten seatbelt switch. It's just an example. Um, I can show you anything, but um, yeah, I need to pick something simple. So just this one, um, make it stay on top and we'll go to the sim. And move over to the signal switch um, right now you can see it's on and I move it to auto off etc so I'll show you what happens um, this is the variable subscribe. This is the normal variable subscribe we use uh, for all FSX variables. And in there we have a PMDG 737 NGX um, variable. And as you can see, it's uh, the fast and seatbelt selector. It's an enum and it calls this function. And let's move this out of the way. And uh, when blah is zero, you'll see it sets the text to uh, fasten seat belts off. And uh, yeah, etc. One, two. So it's it's kind of printing the the value, but to make it more clear, I've uh, added the text to it. And we can also use events. Um, so I've chosen the same uh, seat belt sign or switch, sorry. Uh, right now it's, you see it's off. Uh, when I'll start the instrument again, it will uh, trigger this event. And then you'll see it goes to position two, which is uh, the on state. So FM manager here, and you see the switch over here and when I run the instrument there you see it's moving to on and also this one moves together with the, the switch so what you can do is uh, instead of just uh, <laughs> adding the event to the, the, the code link it to a switch or a dial or whatever you want and if you've seen uh, the videos one of the, uh, the videos I've done before, you see um, you see that we can interact with the codes by uh, hardware switches and dials and you know, like rotary encoders, uh, which is done right now through the Raspberry Pi. Uh, and we're also working on uh, support for the uh, Arduino Mega 2560, if I'm correct. Uh, which is coming later, but uh, the Raspberry already works. So yeah, you could build a, like a, an overhead panel and uh, link all your hardware switches to uh, the code. Or uh, yeah, well, <laughs> go nuts. You can do anything, whatever you want uh, with the Raspberry. Later on also with the uh, Arduino. Um, right now we only support the 727, uh, we might do the 777 or 747, just depends on uh, if people are interested in, uh, in this kind of stuff. So yeah, if you're interested, let us know uh, and we'll see what we can do. See you next time. 